everyone, how's it going? It's Mark Starr from thehoppery.com. So I'm very, very excited about today's beer. Um, this one's actually been on my wish list for a very long time, uh, ever since I got into the Goza style. Uh, this is a Goza that comes from Upright Brewing, uh, which is out of Portland, Oregon. And they're really well known for brewing a lot of Saisons um, and sometimes a variation you know, or two of those Saisons. But this style really is one that's starting to see a little bit of a comeback. Um, if you watched uh, some of my previous episodes on Gozas, you'll know that the history is that you know they originated in Germany. Uh, they are brewed with a little bit of salt. Um, they're also brewed with a little bit of coriander. They used to be open fermented, which means they didn't really add any yeast to them. Uh, they would add some lactobacillus to give it a little bit of you know tartness. Um, and they also brew it with about at least 50% weeded malt. So it's really basically uh, a German sour wheat beer. You know, the last couple that I've had, I've really enjoyed. I've really enjoyed the, you know, the slight tartness, uh, even the little bit of minerality that you get, um, you know, from kind of the flavor that the salt brings to it. Um, but this is just one beer that I have been trying to find for a long time. I actually ordered one online, um, and John, I know we're going to trade for one eventually. That's fine. I'm sure I'll probably want another one. But the thing that I like about this one as well, and you know, before even having tried it, is the label on it. I really love, you know, the artwork um, that they put into uh, this bottle, and uh, it comes in a green bottle, like a lot of, you know, like French and Belgian saisons do. So. Um, I'm imagining too that that's probably, you know, to kind of help facilitate a little bit of that souring um, or a little bit of that funkiness or skunkiness that you would normally see in like, say, a Fantome beer. Um, but having said that, uh, let's go ahead and pour some of this in a glass. This, you know, obviously just comes in a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, it is a seasonal release, so that's, you know, a, a main reason why. Um, but also, I don't think they have any of their beers uh, in 12 ounce bottles. So let's go ahead and get this one pouring because man, I'll tell you what, it's been a long time coming for me. I'm really, really looking forward to this beer a lot. All right, and I'll set that up there so you guys can take a gander at it. Well, you know, the color really has this nice, you know, very hazy orange color. Uh, believe it or not, the room is already starting to fill up with this sort of, you know, tart skunkiness. Um, so I am getting a little bit of a skunky character, a little bit of a funky character, probably more towards the funky than the skunky. Uh, but I can definitely already start to smell those aromas. Lots of effervescence here, and that's one of the things that makes this style so enjoyable, um, is that it's very cleansing on the palate, meaning there's tons of carbonation. Every time you take a, a sip, and my mouth is watering even as I'm describing what I think it's going to be. Um, you know, you really get that kind of tartness, uh, a little bit of saltiness, but it's very, very refreshing style. Um, but let's go ahead and get in there. You know, the head on it, by the way, uh, really kind of dissipated fairly quickly. Just in talking about um, that little piece of, you know, aroma, it's already kind of dissipated. And that's fairly traditional for this style. Um, these are very similar to a Berliner Weiss. Um, if you've ever had a Berliner Weiss, um, much like this, you know, the head on those disappears fairly quickly. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my nose in there. I can already smell most of it, but uh, I'm just for the sake of really getting in there, uh, because I am very psyched, uh, I'm going to get my nose in there and see what I can't pull out. I really love how this has that sort of barnyard tart character to it. So really reminds me of, you know, those saisons uh, that you get from Belgium. Uh, you know, has that really forward yeast character on there. A lot of tartness, like a lot of lemon peel, lemon juice even. Uh, what else? I, I'm, I'm detecting a little bit of that saltiness. Now I know you can't smell salt. Well, you can smell salt. Um, but it really gives it this sort of, almost like you're standing by the ocean, you know, it gives it a sort of minerality, um, and that's very, again, very traditional for that style. But 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a drink, and uh, man, I'm going to get the party started tonight. Again, really, really happy to have this beer. Wow. Yeah, I really like this beer a lot. Um, you know, I was hoping I would, and, and I do. And I'll tell you why. The tartness on this is very, very manageable. You know, if you're somebody who's really looking to get into sour beers, but you're just, you're not there yet, this is a style that I really recommend going for, um, especially this beer. I find that the saltiness and the tartness um, really match each other better than any of the others that I've had. It's very refreshing, very tart, very lemony. I do get that yeast character underneath, so it really does kind of remind me of, you know, like a Saison, like a Phantom Saison with a little bit of saltiness. Um, it's not real heavy. Um, you know, this is a beer that clocks in at 5.2%, so this is something you're going to be able to drink a 750 of no problem. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take another sip, but man, I just really, really love this beer for the style. Now, granted, I've only maybe had three of these beers in the Goza style. I would say this is probably my favorite of the three. Um, I know that we looked at the Portsmouth version. Uh, we looked at the Leipziger from, uh, from Germany, which is actually where this style originates from. But there's something about the flavors in this one, the saltiness, the tartness, the funkiness, um, that really just, I mean, this is really making me happy. I think I'm looking forward to finishing this bottle, and so I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Shut off the camera, maybe go upstairs and uh, drink the rest of this and watch a little little TV. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Um, I hope I've interested you in the style. You know, I'd really love to see more breweries out there, you know, taking some of these older styles, especially these lower ABV styles that have a lot of flavor, you know, and really starting to brew those again and kind of bringing them back to the public. This is something that I can't recommend enough. Um, thank God I got another one because uh, I'll definitely want to drink that one pretty soon. But um, that's it for today, guys. Really enjoyed it. And uh, until we get together next time, cheers.